Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 4.6 from Hitchbook. Calculate the power dissipated in the 1 ohm resistor. Here, so 1 ohm resistor. And I will, I want to use nodal analysis. So let's name the nodes. I will have this as node A and this as node B. Okay. Now let's uh, assume the direction of the current. This current source, we just follow the arrow, so it's going down. Here, this resistor, I will assume this is going down. Here, I will also assume this is going down. And here, I will assume that this is going to the right. Yeah, and for this one, going up, just follow the arrow. And now, let's do KCL at node A. KCL at node A. What does KCL say? The sum of the currents that goes in is equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. The current that goes in, there is no current that goes in. So I will just put zero here. And all the other currents is going out. So this current here is 3 ampere. So just write that. And this current here is Va minus this one will be our ground. Va minus 0 divided by 3. And then plus this current here, that will be Va minus Vb divided by 2. Okay, now let's move this 3 to the left hand side. So I will have minus 3. And then this will equal to Va divided by 3. And this one will be Va minus Vb over 2. So now to get rid of the denominator, I will multiply both sides by 6. Yeah, 6 is okay. And for this one, I will have minus 18. And this one will be 2 Va. And this one will be 3 Va minus 3 Vb. So I will have 5 Va minus 3 Vb will be minus 18. So now let's have that as equation number 1. Okay, now let's do another KCL but at node B. Now let's do that KCL at node B. It's the same. The currents that goes in is equal to the currents that goes out. There are two currents that goes in, this one and that one, and only one current that goes out. Okay, so now this current is going in, so I will have Va minus Vb divided by the resistance between them, which is 2. And then this current here, that will be 2, so I will have plus 2. And that will equal to the currents that go out, which is this one. That will be Vb minus 0 divided by 1. So let's simplify this. I will have Va minus Vb over 2 plus 2. And Vb minus 0 will be Vb. Vb divided by 1 is still Vb. So now we can multiply both sides maybe by 2. So what can we get from here? I will get Va minus Vb plus 4. And that will equal to 2 Vb. And so I will have minus Va. And yeah, I move this Va to the right hand side. And then minus Vb becomes plus Vb. But Vb plus 2b will be 3 Vb. F3 Vb and that all will equal to 4. Let's save that as equation number 2. And we can rewrite this as a matrix, right? So I will have 5 minus 3 minus 1, 3, and then Va and then Vb. And all of that will equal to minus 18. 
and 4. Okay, now to calculate that, I will need to use calculator. Let's set up that and choose equation, which is number 5. And we need to do two variables, which is number 1. Okay, now let's plug that in. 5 and then minus 3 and then minus 18 minus 18 and then minus 1 and then 3 and then 4. So I will have PA is this value here, which is minus 3.5. So PA is equal to minus 3.5 volt. And VB, what is VB? 1 over 6. So I will have 0 0.167. Well, that is VB, but the question is the power dissipated in this 1 ohm resistor. So remember that this is VB, right? And remember, we can calculate power by using this formula, V multiplied by I, or V square over R, or I square R. We know the voltage here, so I will choose to use this formula here. And that means that I will have 0 0.167, and this is squared, divided by 1. Okay, and that means that I will have... 0. Point, uh, okay, let's set up. 0. 0.167, but it's squared. This is the value, but this is in what? I want to make it easier to read, so I multiply it by 1000, so I get milliwatt. So I'll have 27.9 milliwatt. So I'll have 27.9 and the unit will be milliwatt. And this is the power dissipated in the 1 ohm resistor here. Hopefully I did not make the any mistakes in calculation. Thank you for watching and bye bye.